Mm -mm. Hey fam, are we on? Let me let me share something on my Facebook real quick. Because we got we got everyone has to hear this. You know who this is. This is Lisa Monet, your favorite, favorite TV personality, social influencer, social media influencer. And I'm also known as the wealth connector. Why? Because I connect you to wealth. How is that important? Because you need a lot of money. Why do you need a lot of money? Last time I checked, you got bills. You got to take care of your kids. Um, you got to eat food and you got bills and you got to eat food and you want to go places. <laughs> so listen, I'm excited about today's topic because this topic has affected me and I want to share an experience so that we can understand how wealth building principles how much how they matter and the things that can affect us and hinder us from walking in the prosperity walking in the abundance walking in the lifestyle that we desire but not only desire that we deserve also so before we go into anything else i always want to drop a little knowledge hey you can reach me Lisa Monet, L W E S I A M O N A Y, on most social media platforms. We got Clubhouse, we got TikTok, we got Facebook, we got Instagram, we got Twitter, and we got Snapchat if you're feeling quick. So I'm excited because you know what? I care about you. Who? Why? Oh, you. Why do I care about you? Because I used to be you. My mind had limited, you know, it was limited. Shoot, it was limited. I, I didn't think that what I'm doing now that this would be something that I would be delivered out of a mindset that was holding me, my children, and my prosperity back. And so I definitely want to share this with you. So our topic today is, is your circle, your center of influence holding you back from obtaining wealth? Is it hindering your wealth? And so I really have some questions that I need to ask you, but really you need to ask yourself and see that where you need to align to live the life that you deserve so you can learn how to make money work for you and you can control your income because how you control your income is affected by the outcome of your decision today, of your decision now, of your decision for your children, the decision for your finances, the decision for your future. And I'm excited about where we're gonna go. So real quick, I do want you to, um, text me, well, text the Be Your, Be Your Own Bank, little, 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 let me rewind that, the Be Your Own Bank movement at 904-567-0634, text the word wealth so you can be connected to me, because what we're, we're going to do is we're going to build wealth together, and let me, let me give you a little background of how important this is. See, the movement that I'm a part of, the movement that I know about, the movement that I get to rock with every day is shifting families economically, financially, emotionally, business-wise. And it is such a blessing to be a part of something so major. And it is the largest economic empowerment movement in the history of mankind. You see, there's a lot of movements. There's some even some empowerment, but there's nothing as large as the Be Your Own Bank because you know what the heart is? We wanna make sure that you get out of poverty, out of lack out of despair, out of frustration financially, and you walk into abundance like you know my name and I'm excited about the life I'm going to live because I have control of my finances. So we're going to talk about that circle. But once again, go ahead and hit me up. Don't hit me, but hit me up at 904-567-0634 and I will have that number memorized one day. I'm telling you, Lord, you got me. He's going to help me with my memory. Hallelujah. So I'm excited because... Let's get real. I want you to think about your circle of influence. You say, what is a circle of influence, Lucia? Oh, I'm glad you asked. It is the people, the environment that you're around every day, that you're around continuously, the people who you go to work with, the people in your family, neighbors, the neighborhood you live in, the community, the people you hang around, the people who put an impact on you, whether it's a small impact, or a big impact. It doesn't matter, it's still an impact. An impact, friends, family, it does have power. So I want you to really sit back and think about, you have dreams, you have desires, and you have goals. And there is things that you want to do in your life. There's things that you wanna have control over and a lot of us don't. Why? Because we have our hands in shackles, because we're handcuffed, because we're zip tied to possibly What's going on in the economy? That's what we think in our mind. Or what's, or maybe to our job. 
or maybe to grinding. And we're going to talk about that later, that grinding, because grinding is not what it's cracked up to be. So, you know, when you look at your circle of influence, let me ask you this. Are the people in your circle of influence living the life that you want to live? One, do they have the type of money that you want to have? Do you want your children to grow up and follow these type of people? Are they an inspiration to your children? Hmm. Those are some tough questions. Do you want, do you see them as an example? Do they exemplify something you want to go after? Are they doing things legally, <laughs> legally that is going to be beneficial for you and your family? And I'll be real, most of us are going to say no. There's a few yeses here and there, but let me ask you this. For those moms and those dads, those people who've been working at their job 20, 30, 10 years, 15 years, to the people who have their own businesses and you're not satisfied with what's going on in your bank account and you're not satisfied with the amount of money that you pull out of your pocket and you're not satisfied with the size of your home or the car that you're driving. And there's a difference between being humble and being satisfied. You can be humble about stuff, but when you have a desire that you want more, better, or different, check your circle. Let me tell you about checking circles. What does that do? Checking circle, what? No, you know what? There's a saying. It says, what is it? I don't know about the number, but basically, what is that saying where they said, um, if you hang with, if you hang with, I'm just going to make up a number. Five is my favorite number. So we're going to say five. If you hang with five broke people, you're going to be the six. If you hang with five wealthy people, you're going to be the six. If you hang with five limited mindset people, you're going to be the six. If you hang with five people who are always complaining and don't want nothing out of life, you're going to be the six. You say, well, how? I'm my own person. I have my own thoughts and my own mind. I'm an individual. I don't let others. Yes, you do. Because if you want more, better, or different, you would realize that those circles aren't giving you more, better, or different. And you would go look for a different circle. So there's a circle that I'm a part of. It's a big circle. Matter of fact, it's an economic circle. Matter of fact, it's a financial circle. Matter of fact, it is an empowerment circle. Matter of fact, it's a circle that is helping about 2 million families, 2 million families, mom, dad, sister, brother, cousin, aunties, uncles, nieces, and nephews, grandparents, families, get out of lack, get out of bondage, get out of poverty, get out of frustration financially. Let's be real fam, most arguments in the household is about money. Most divorces, ooh, mm, been there. That's not why I got divorced, but most divorces happen over money. That's being real. Um, most time kids get made fun of in school. You know, we have a lot of bullying going on, but we have to be real because sometimes they get made fun of because they don't have the other type of clothes or shoes or maybe not being able to have school supplies. And that comes from a lack. Now, does that mean someone's a bad person? Does that mean that someone's not good? No, but what it means is there's a way out of that. You know, once you have a kid, I have two kids. Once you have a kid, it definitely is not about you anymore. See, you took yourself just, it's just me out of the equation. Now there are people depending on you, little people that are growing, that are gonna grow up to be big people. And you know what? You are their circle. You are their center. You should be the most major influential person or parent in their life. And what are you showing them? Are you showing them lack? Are you showing them bondage? Are you showing them limited mindset? Are you showing them there are no limitations? Are you showing them discipline? Are you showing them that they can't do without government assistance, that they can't do without unemployment, that they can't do without EBT, that they can't do without being on a job? What are you showing them? Because you know what? One thing my mentors, I'll say, the kids see what you do. They implement everything from the way you walk to the way you talk to the things you say and the things you don't say. I want you to really catch that. I want you to really catch that. You know, one thing that really blessed me that my son who's 16 now says, he always says, mom, I will never work for anybody. And I'm glad that he has it because, you know, he says that because he has been a part of this movement and walking in the 
financial educational journey that I have been. And now his eyes are exposed to, I don't just have to go get a job. And he says, mom, you know, I don't like going to school because I just feel like school just makes you do stuff that's unnecessary that I'm not going to use. Am I knocking that you should never go to school? That's not what I'm saying, but I'm okay. Let me be real. School just teaches you how to be a worker. That's it. School teaches you how to be a worker. And if you're not trying to live that lifestyle and be a worker, be for someone else, you need to learn how to be empowered and be an income controller. What does that mean? Hey, you got finances, you got your salary, you get paid by the hour. Sometimes you exchange time for dollars. Sometimes you exchange services for dollars. Sometimes you exchange services and goods to take care of your family. But you know, when you control your income, that is something powerful because yeah, you're getting a salary, but someone else is controlling it. They're controlling when you get paid, maybe once a month, maybe twice a month, maybe every week. They control if you get a bonus, if you qualify, if you qualify for a bonus, they control that. But you taking control of your income, you control every bonus that you get because you get a bonus when you feel like it. You control how much money goes in your wallet you control how much you compound in. And I wanna talk about that. That's something that we've been doing, especially here. I'm, in, I'm a US baby, but in the US, you know, a lot of us are what, what we say is compounding out more than compounding in. We go swipe that debit card. We go pay for things that we don't need. I've done it. I like hats. I bought hats when I shouldn't have bought hats. <laughs> but we go pay for things we don't need and things are not going to be beneficial and bring us a return on our income because we're focused on something for the moment. And what are we doing? That's something we're passing down to our center of influence, which is our children, which is the people around us, which is your friend opening a business, which is your husband or wife, the center of influence. So who are you influencing and who's influencing you? So I really want you to check yourself because this, this is a pulse check for you. If you don't like your finances, you need to learn a skill set. If you don't like the amount of money in your wallet, you need to learn a skill set. If all your friends and y'all make around the same type of money and it's not breaking banks, you need to learn a skill set. If you want to take care of people in your community, if you want to be a, a, a blessing, a philanthropist, you know, those people who just go and not blow money, but put bless people with money to support colleges, to give people scholarships, to get people who are on the streets from being a homeless, to shelter abused women and abused children, to um, be a blessing to kids that we call, I don't say, um, some people say at-risk kids, but we say at-hope kids. How can you make that impact if you're not influenced right? You know how you're influenced, right? Look at that pocket. Look at where your money's going. Look at where your money's going and see what type of influence are you having. Is your bank account going negative? I've been there. Have you ever had to go to the gas station and go make sure you have a dollar left in the bank account so that you can go ahead and push credit for your gas? And you know that dollars, you know that gas is going to come out two to three days later? Yes. I learned that trick a long time ago. <laughs> but the point is, I don't want to do that anymore. And so I learned a skill set. And that is because of the Be Your Own Bank movement, the skill set to become a walking ATM, to learn how to make money work for me. Me not chase money, money chase me. Me learn how to make money off of a movement that is always continual, a movement that is within the largest financial market. The largest, not one of them, the largest financial market, a market that you don't know it, or you might not pay attention, but a market that you're sowing finances in every day, one way or another. If you go buy something consumer based, you are sowing in one of these mark. You are sowing in a part of this market. So why would you not want to get your share? If you're already sowing and people are making type of money that you want to make, why shouldn't you put yourself and your family and your finances in a position where you're the dictator? Listen, right now things are changing. If there's another pandemic for business owners right now. The question is for business owners. If there's another pandemic and you are service-based or you are product-based and you sell things based off of product or services and they shut down again, what are you going to do? How is that going to infect your, affect your income? What are you going to do? Is that circle that you're around saying, hey, 
we got to go get a job. We got to go grind. Or is that circle you're around saying, I need to look for a skill set. So just in case something happens, my income will always be continuous. And I will also make residual income. What is your circle saying? To the people who lost their job, unemployment in Florida just stopped. The people who lost their job, the people who no longer get unemployment, the people who are having hard times getting gig working jobs, the people who are getting paid $10 an hour, $15 an hour, and you're not liking this type of pay, even $20 an hour. What if it shuts down again? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to sit down and go, oh, it's the government. Oh, nothing works out. Are you going to find a way to make sure that you are economically unbothered? How do you do that? You join the movement. How do you join the movement? You enroll, you learn, you profit. You get the mentorship, you get the training, you get the skill set, and then you build and compound up. So if a pandemic, if a recession, a recession, if something in the economy throws off everything, baby, you're not on that receiving end of being thrown off. You're being able to benefit off of it. And so that's the reality. So if I could tell you anything, it's, it's time for you to wise up, pay attention. Things are not the same anymore. I am a millennial baby. I went through two recessions. I went through a pandemic and a recession. Housing costs are increasing. How are you going to pay for the housing costs? I mean, the housing costs. How are you going to pay for when, um, what is it? When you're in an apartment complex and the landlord decides Hey, I'm no longer, um, they've, took in, they've taken the ban off of the um, eviction status. Now they've taken the ban off and they're raising prices. What are you gonna do? Learn a skill set. Well, it, too, it takes too much time. Do you like being homeless? Do you like being in lack? Do you like being without? Do you like telling your kids, and I've been there before, I can't get it. I remember my son asked me, mom, can we get a donut? While back, mom, can we get a donut? And I looked in my bank account, and it was like negative $100. And I said, I, I can't, baby. And he said, I understand. Is that something you want your child to understand that you can't? After you've been exposed to a way that you can get out of lack and buy them whatever they want, and you just telling them no because you're a parent and you're enforcing your parental rights? <laughs> Hey, because I like to tell them, no, you cannot tell them yes all the time. Then they're spoiled. But what I'm saying is you've been exposed. I, I, will see, I will always say this. Success leaves clue. Teddy Riley, one of the greatest producers, a, a man who is influential around the world internationally, who's made some songs that we have bopped to from, from generation, um, the baby boomers to um, what is it, Generation Z now has joined the movement. He doesn't need the money, but he sees the influence and the power. If he was to never drop another song, if no one wanted to play any more music, he'll still be all right. Why? Because he understands the power of learning how to compound, the power of learning skill sets during a recession that is recession proof. Hmm, that's some power right there, recession proof. So you know what, fam? What I got to tell you is success leaves clues. You are no longer clueless. What are you going to do for you and your family? What are you going to sacrifice? What time are you going to discipline yourself? What are you going to do with your finances to make sure that you will never tell your child again, I can't afford, that you won't be scared to swipe that car, that you want to be able to pay things in advance or in full, that you'll be in a position of power because people who has money has power. Say you, they don't. Yes, they do. He who has money has power. She who has money has power. They who have money have power. So is either you're going to walk in your power or you're going to let someone turn your light switch off. So after that being said, I'm so excited that you are going to join this movement because your life is going to be changed and rearranged and you will never, if you do what you're supposed to do and, and follow the process and learn this movement, you're going to change your life and that impact, that circle of influence that you were once around, the circle of influence that you're attached to, they're going to see you prosper and they're going to want to do the same thing that you do. And it's all because of the choice that you made. So how much do you care about your center of influence, your circle of influence, the people in your environment that you're willing to make that change? I know you, listen, we know we drive by the streets and we see the people sitting on the porch. Nothing wrong with people sitting on the porch, but what happens? That gets passed down generational. 
Mom was sitting on the porch. So what happens? Kids move in the same neighborhood and sit on the porch. And then what happens? The grandkids sitting on the porch. What is porch ministry doing for you? How was the porch making you profit? It's not. So it is 2021 and it is time for us to make six figures in six months. Dictate your finances, dedicate the time to make sure that you live on the other side of money and there's no looking back. So I'm excited about you joining the movement. Text that number that I stated, reach me at L-E-S-I-A-M-O-N-A-Y on all the social media platforms that I just stated. And let's change your finances, change the world and just live life in abundance, live life on purpose and live life on your terms. You know, that's all I have to say, family. All I want to say is it's Financial Freedom Friday, and I'm so excited that you made a destiny decision, that you made a decision that you will no longer be shackled and no longer be bound, and you're going to live life of abundance. So hit the DM, join the movement, and get ready to live life on your terms. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, awesome, amazing, fantabulous day. Buenos dias, buenas noches, dos vidania, arriba darche, hakuna matata, and everything else. I love you guys. Licia out. The girl smiling.